In this problem, we have to find dy dx solution. So to find dy dx, we have to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So you'll notice here you have a square root function. So it's a good idea to first rewrite the square root function as something to the 1 half power. So we'll do that first. Okay, so now we'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to y. So you have this function here, x times y, and it's all to the 1 half power. So we have to use the chain rule. So we bring the 1 half down, we put that in the front. So 1 half, and then you don't touch the inside. So you have x, y, and then you do 1 half minus 1. So that's negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside function. Now here you have to use the product rule because you have x times y. So the product rule says you take the derivative of the first piece, which is 1, times the second piece, plus the first piece, times the derivative of the second piece, which is dy dx. Parentheses. Then here you do the same thing. You use the product rule, so it's the derivative of the first, times the second, plus the first, times the derivative of the second, which is dy dx. And the derivative of 1 is equal to 0. Okay, this looks like a complete mess. <laughs> we have to find dy dx, which is right here and right here. Okay, so I guess first we need to get rid of this. Um, how can we do that? Maybe we'll just distribute this. And we can think of this as 1 over 2 square root xy, right? You can think of it like that if you like. Um, that, might be, that might be our best route. So I'm going to rewrite this. 1 over 2 square root xy. Okay, and then this is y plus x dy dx. And then here we have 2xy plus x squared dy dx. I'm trying to think of like what would be the best way to solve this. I mean, I guess we could distribute this piece, right? We could distribute this. Or we could multiply everything by 2 square root xy. That's another option. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this. So if we do that, we get y over 2 square root xy. Now this could be simplified here, this y and the square root y. I'm going to leave it because I'm not sure if that's a good idea. And then here we have x over this stuff. So x over 2 square root xy dy dx. Then here we simply have 2xy plus x squared dy dx. Okay, we're looking for dy dx. So now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to get everything that has a dy dx on one side by itself. So this term and this term are going to be on the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract this one. Okay, so minus x squared dy dx. And then I'll subtract this one, minus y over 2 square root xy, minus y over 2 square root xy. So these cancel. These cancel. We're left with, what a ridiculous mess, x over 2 square root xy dy dx minus x squared dy dx. Then on the right hand side we have all of this stuff here. 2xy minus y over 2 square root xy. I went really fast. Let me make sure I did it right. So we subtracted this. And so that's here. Okay, so that looks okay. And then this is still here. And then we subtracted this. And so that's here. Okay, so it's 2xy minus that. Okay, so far, so good. So we're looking for dy dx. Maybe now we can factor out dy dx. So we have dy dx, parentheses, x over 2 square root xy minus x squared, equal to all of this stuff over here, 2xy minus y over 2 square root xy. To finish, well, we're going to divide by this, this mess here. So this Divide both sides by this mess, so we end up with dy dx equals 2xy minus y over 2 square root xy over x over 2 square root xy minus x squared. And I guess we could clean this up if we want to. I'm going to. I'm going to multiply by, this, by uh, the square root of xy over the square root of xy. This is optional. You don't have to do this. This is really multiplying by 1. Why am I doing it? I don't know. I didn't want to leave the answer like that. Um, so dy dx. So we're taking this and multiplying it by this. So we get 2xy square root xy minus, and look, here they cancel. That was the whole point. So we get y over 2. Over, then here we do the same thing. Right? We do the same thing. 
So this times this, so we get x over 2 minus x squared square root xy. And if you want it to be even fancier, you could multiply by 2 over 2, and then you could cancel the 2s. But I'm going to stop here, and um, I hope that video, uh, this video made sense.